Hey guys, welcome back to Lavender. It's Eileen. So this year I'm gonna switch things up. I'm gonna try to do instead of monthly favorites, I want to share like my monthly highlights, lessons, and favorites. So let me know your feedback on this. If you like it, don't like it, or if you'd want to like switch things around, let me know. But we'll get into it. So January for me was a month of transformation and change, and a lot of it in my mind, I wrote in my journal was to lay the foundations for a successful year. So obviously the first big news of this month is I just moved into a new apartment last week. So we haven't finished decorating. This is like a temporary background. I'll, I'll figure things out as we go. It's just been a time of change and I'm looking forward to new things happening in my life because I feel like once you've moved your space, your life transforms in general. Um, but going back, some other highlights from January January, I went to Big Bear with my family, which was a really, really nice weekend to reset, be in nature, and just get closer with my cousins. And I really needed that because I don't know if you guys know or if I've mentioned it on this channel, but I was super like stressed and I don't know, just in a frustrated state throughout the entire workbook selling process. So like December all the way to like mid-January was like really chaotic for me, just like dealing with workbook, shipping delays, customer complaints, a lot of people were angry. I feel like whatever could go wrong did go wrong like there were delays from like the manufacturer coming here during the holidays and then there was like a really big technical issue with my website we couldn't hook it up to the shipping software also the demand of the workbooks was like way way more than we expected i basically set like a goal for the number of workbooks i wanted to sell and we've surpassed that goal by like double triple maybe and it's just crazy basically we did our best but it was pretty overwhelming and I made some mistakes and I learned from them and I feel like starting a business is all about just like doing it, messing up, and then figuring out what you did wrong, learning and improving from that and what I learned this month is like you can't let um, negativity, you can't let failure make you want to quit. At one point I just felt so bad getting these like angry customer emails and I don't know people putting us down and I just felt like I just wanted to give up. I'm like why am I even doing this? Do I have to? And I don't know I think emotionally I was ready to like shut down but logically I was like no like I can't stop now. I, people want this. I'm proud of what I've created and so I'm gonna continue delivering it, continue working on it. it. Like It just can't make me wanna quit, you know? Basically, a lot has gone on behind the scenes in the past two months and I feel like I have transformed and I have grown a lot. I feel like I'm a different person now than I was in November. The last cool thing that happened this month was I got the opportunity to host a live workshop on how to figure out what to do with your life. It was a workshop on the topic Ikigai, which I've shared. The video is linked down below if you want to watch it. But it was my first time like doing a live event like that. It was held at Arcadia Public Library and I got to meet some of you. He's amazing. Love you, love. What did you guys think? I loved it. There was just so much wisdom in this room. Like, I was pretty surprised. I thought it was going to be like more like of a young demographic, but there was just a lot of like older. I was surprised too. There was, the age was like a huge range. There was like retired people. Yeah. Yeah. There's like a lot of old people, but they were all engaged. It was, it was nice being in that environment. Thank you so much for those of you who came out. It really meant a lot to me, especially like Brittany who came all the way from Arizona. Honestly, I was pretty nervous going into that workshop, but I was listening to an audiobook, which I'll talk about more later, but the audiobook Light is the New Black, and in the audiobook she was talking about how like she was nervous going into like a speaking engagement and instead what she told herself was it's not about you. It doesn't matter what you feel like all you have to do is be the medium of light to share and give value to these people so just let go and just do your best and don't worry too much about what other people think of you just just trust that you are the medium and trust that things will unfold the way that they're meant to unfold and so that's what I did I went in I didn't feel completely prepared to do the workshop but I just did my best and I just let the words flow out of me. It's kind of weird. I just, 
I don't know, it just happened and I think it went well. People seemed like they like it, liked it. And it was really sweet because a lot of you like stayed after to chat and we stayed until we had to get kicked out. So yeah, it was pretty fun. All right, moving on to my favorites of the month. I have been really, really into the books that I'm reading and listening to this month. So I mentioned Light is the New Black. I loved that book. It's been a while since I found an audiobook that I really loved and really connected to, and that was it. I really love Rebecca Campbell. It's all about just being the light and you know my theme this year is lead with light so i feel like that book really helped get me in the right state of mind getting ready for this year it's just it's really good another book that i started reading and love is sapiens i mentioned this in my books to read video but i started reading sapiens i'm about like i don't know halfway through almost and it's really good it's really eye-opening it's fascinating i'm learning so much about the history of humankind i'm learning just things that I wish everyone knew. I wish we all knew about why we do the things we do and the history of our evolution and just the way that our modern society is not natural in terms of like what's natural and healthy for humans and I don't know it's it's a whole other topic that would take too long to get into but I'll just leave it at that if you're interested in human beings evolution, psychology, all of that, just read Sapiens. Next is the audiobook that I'm currently listening to, which I also love, 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 and I think it's worthy of sharing, is The Untethered Soul by Michael Singer. This book is perfect for those of you who tend to overthink, overanalyze, those of you who have a hard time meditating, you know, those of you who feel like your thoughts are always running nonstop and you can't separate yourself from your thoughts, or if you're very emotional and it's really hard to separate yourself from your emotions, this is the book to read or listen to the untethered soul it's helping me see things from a new perspective feel more soulful feel more connected be able to detach from my emotions from my thoughts and i don't know i, I recommended this to my friends who like tend to overthink and overanalyze things because i think this is really really helpful so if you feel like you have that kind of issue definitely give this book a try Next up is my favorite song of the moment. It's called She Loves Control by Camila Cabello. And honestly, this whole album is really good. And this song especially just makes me wanna dance. It makes me wanna salsa. It makes me feel good. It makes me feel powerful. And I feel like it's just one of those songs that I love to play in the morning, when I'm showering, just when I'm jamming out by myself at home. I don't know, sometimes I just want some feel good music, music that makes me wanna dance. And it makes me feel uplifted and inspired. So yeah, give it a listen see if you like it my last favorite is a hair product and it's this one l'oreal elviv i'm not exactly sure how to pronounce it but it's amazing it's just a hair mask deep conditioner to put on your hair and leave it in while you're in the shower then rinse it out and honestly my hair feels so healthy i just bleached my hair as you can tell i did it like last week and you know after you bleach it it feels so like stringy it feels damaged it's hard to wash and then after using this hair mask even once like it felt silky smooth and i mean this probably has a lot of chemicals so it's not not like a natural hair care type of thing but it works i'm just really impressed at how my hair feels after using this so i feel like it's worth sharing for those of you looking for a really good hair mask on the flip side another hair mask that i absolutely love is the eva nyc hair mask so i'll link both of those down below so you can check them out all right that's my january review for you guys sharing my highlights lessons and favorites from the past month let me know if you liked this video this format let me know if you'd rather me like switch things around like do you want to see favorites first or do you like seeing my highlights do you even need my lessons like i don't know let me know what you want to see i just wanted to create like a monthly wrap-up type video where i could sit down and share any updates on my life with you guys because i feel like with this channel every video like i don't really get to share that much about my life so i just wanted an opportunity to sit down and chat all right have a beautiful day love you all so much and i'll see you next time bye mm -hmm.